time Adam go holy. Did you see the hey Wack, you see the one I sent you? I said they, they, everybody saying you playing chess over there. I was like, oh yeah, they, they. Oh, yeah, that's what community <laughs> niggas over there is crazy. <laughs> they that, they Wack playing chess over there and those for them niggas say beat up the flames and Wack what other play? <laughs> you heard it? Uh, you heard that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I see that the other Wack like this one. You gotta remember the first time they seen the W.O. They were gonna whack what other yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> you told them. They you told them. <laughs> so, so he did a live today. He definitely he did a live today. Break. Did you see that one, Ghost? Nah, what are you talking about on this? He was just talking about the whole shit. He tried to explain it again. What he meant when uh, he said off brand. He was explaining that again. He was explaining. Yeah, that's busted shit. Yeah, he keeps. I have absolutely nothing negative to say about Wack getting respect from community in the Ace Boys worldwide. Real recognizes real, and Wack is really playing chess in Clubhouse, the streets, and certainly at No Jumper. The fact that DW Flames is the actual main source for all of this brick baby drama says a lot, but when you add the fact that DW Flames was first invited to No Jumper by Wack 100, it's clear to see that Wack is on another level and willing to plan months ahead of time. Is it possible that Wack is making all of these moves over the head of Adam and No Jumper? Wack calls himself a partner with Adam at No Jumper with their show. Is this a play for Wack to gain more power than Adam at No Jumper?